My name is Fole, and welcome back to the semi-extreme one chunk series. In the last episode, I obtained the curved bone very early and rolled my new chunk, the Port Serum Docks. This gave me access to the smithing cape, but since I don't have a furnace, it will not be a task until I get one. Even without that as a task, we were handed a whole bunch of tasks that I'll put here on screen. The biggest one being obtaining the big shark, dropping at a rate of 1 in 5,000 every time I catch a shark. Also, here are my stats at the end of the last episode. I also have 6 days and 6 hours played on the account, so let's see how much time it takes for me to complete this chunk. But before we get started, shout out to all my channel members listed here on screen who got to watch this video a few days early. Thank you for the extra support you give me. I also started streaming over on Twitch, so if you want to catch me live, a link will be in the pinned comment of this video. Other than that, thank you for watching. And let's get started. And here we are in Port Serum. And there we go. We found our first splasher. Oh, this is pest control, isn't it? We could tech we could technically roll pest control next. Which is interesting. The most important shop though is this magic shop over here. This magic shop's gonna be huge for us. Oh yeah. That's what I was looking for. How much do mine room pack? 330. We're gonna do a lot of money making though. I have a deposit box right here. Oh, that's huge. So I'll be able to like bank everything that I get if I want to here. All right, here is the plan. I'm just gonna get the wood cutting, the fire making, and the fletching grind out of the way while I AFK and watch some football. And then we can probably move on to something different. And there is level 30 fire making. We can now burn a willow log once I get this wood cutting level. And just like that, level 30 wood cutting, I can now go chop this willow tree over here. I'm still gonna have to cut some more willows though because I don't have the fletching level yet to make the willow shield. I think I just need one more level, so we'll be cutting willows here for a little bit too. But here is a chunk task complete, cutting the willow log. Apparently I did not record me burning a willow log, so I'm gonna do this in post just to prove that I did in fact burn a willow log. There we go. That is a chunk task complete. And there is level 42 fletching I can now Fletch a willow shield, so I just need to get a couple more willow logs and I can complete that junk task. But here we go, fletching the willow shield complete. That is another chunk task unlocked and we can uh, move on to something different. This is getting kind of late for me, so I'm going to get a little bit of a head start on the fishing grind right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy a small fishing net and go over to this fishing spot over and the next chunk over and catch some like shrimp and anchovy all right and a quick level 16 fishing over here at these anchovies and shrimp i can now go back to varlamore to the other fishing spot we have uh, that is a high enough level to start doing some big net fishing which should be a lot better than anchovies and shrimp xp wise this is gonna be able to get us two best in slot items that we should get really fast the leather gloves and the leather boots and just like that, the leather gloves have been obtained. Chunk task complete. And just shortly after we get the leather boots as well, that is another chunk task complete. I'm just going to keep here at the big sharks because they do drop caskets, which could get me GP. Maybe not my best money maker, but definitely one of my better money makers at the moment. All right, it is a new day, and what I am going to do is train magic a little bit. I plan on going to the ice giant soon, but I want to get my magic level up a little bit more. So I'm going to kill these goblins in hope for a beginner or easy clue, and maybe I could end up finishing one at some point. Don't have really high hopes for it. I don't have that many steps that are doable. But what I'm going to do is just tag goblins um, so that they can run up to me. That way I don't have to chase them. So tag goblins once with uh, airstrike and then finish them off with melee. Kind of train my magic up that way. But yeah, these uh, first levels of magic should come in pretty fast. There is level 2 already. Didn't get a single doable clue step, but there is level 16 magic. Alright, I feel like level 16 magic is enough, so I uh, am back in Varlamore to pick up all the runes that I have, um, although I do not have enough money for a charter ship back to Port Serum, so I'm just cutting some oak trees to fletch them to sell them so I can get back over there. And then I will be off killing ice giants. But there is level 34 woodcutting as well. Alright, here in the Asgardian dungeon where the ice giants are, they are safe spottable, but the problem is 
is these ice warriors are aggressive to you and they are not safe spotable. Um, besides in this spot, but you can't kill the ice giants from here. So what I have to do is wait the 10 minute aggression timer and then hop worlds and then run over to that safe spot and I should be good to go. But the safe spot is right over there where I have that tile marked. But I'm going to be training my magic all the way to 55 with these guys. I am also looking for four items from them. The iron plate legs, the mithril square shield, the mithril mace, and the black kite shield. But yeah, these guys will be good to train on all the way to 55 just because they give a pretty decent amount of coin drops as well as just other items I could sell to the general store for a rebate on the cost of runes. Level 18 already before the first giant is slain level 20 magic there's the black kite shield that's our new best in slot melee shield level 29 magic hey a steel axe that's huge it's a lot better than this bronze one goodbye bronze axe just gonna play these level up clips in the background even though i hit the wood cutting and fletching goal i uh, still am gonna have to cut a lot more trees because it's my best money maker right now and uh yeah it cost a decent amount of money to get this magic level up so uh but the more xp that i get in both of these skills now means the less xp i have to get in future chunks and always gonna be finishing up the day with a little bit of fishing the big net fishing is uh, nice to do at the end of the day because I do get that passive gold from the caskets, which will definitely help out with the magic training a little bit. And there is level 30 magic. Hey, Mithril Mace. That's one of the things I'm looking for. Oh, that's a really good, that's a really good drop. Mithril Square Shield is a best in slot for us and we get a beginner clue. After I run out of runes, I go over to the pirates. I don't think I've shown any clips of them yet because I'm just looking for the iron plate body, so I'll probably only show the clip of me actually getting the iron plate body. And there is a level 39 magic. Oh, there's the plate body. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Give that shit to me. A little dry, but we take it. That was a uh, kill count 180 at a 128. Pirates are done. All we need is the plate legs from... Them goddamn ice giants. Level 40 magic. Oh, we got a long bone? <laughs> okay. Alright. I guess we'll take a long bone. Kill count 161 off the ice giant. I see, I see. Oh my god, 60 hit points. I am a strong man. And there is level 43 magic. We are now able to cast super heat item, which officially can start the smithing grind we can take the nature runes that we have right now i'm not exactly sure how many i have but i can take those nature runes and i can make bronze bars all the way up until level 15 and at level 15 i'll be able to use the iron bar spawn over at the uh dock in varlamore and use them on the anvil to make iron items so that is uh, officially the start of the smithing grind unlocked. I mentioned in the end of the last video that superheat and the iron bar spawn would not trigger any task for me, but that it didn't mean I couldn't use them as a training method for the time being. These ice giants have mithril ore on their drop table, and I think getting the smithing level to make a mithril axe would be a huge upgrade considering fletching is my best money maker at the moment. So I'm going to set my own goal of getting to 51 smithing in this chunk to be able to make that. From level 15 smithing, I am able to start smithing that iron bar spawned and from level 15 to 51 is 109,534 XP. So at 25 XP per iron bar, we can conclude that it's going to take me 4,382 iron bars or world hops to make this happen. Going back to the meme map segment in the last episode, one world hopping session takes about two hours and nets me around 500 iron bars. So to get to 51 smithing, it's going to take about 17 and a half hours of world hops, a small price to pay for a wood cutting upgrade, I'd have to say. But with getting 51 smithing lets me process any steel item in the game, giving me my new best in slot gear to smith as well. The steel warhammer, knives, bolts, plate body, plate legs, along with a bullseye lantern, which is the highest level processing for steel, being at level 49. But I am currently 307 ice giants uh, killed, and I'm still looking for the iron plate legs. They drop at a 1 in 128, so we're over double the drop rate i'm not mad about it though because i do need the magic xp still the only way i'm gonna be upset is if i hit 55 magic before i get the iron plate legs and then i then i might be a little uh a little sad about it 
But I am in need of some AFK time, so we are about to do a little bit of fishing. All right, ending off the night with a level 36 fishing. But I just thought I would let you all know that I changed my name from Abyss Chunk to Skimmy Extreme, a kind of play on words for Simi Extreme, and uh, the whole debacle of me saying Skimitar instead of Scimitar, which it is Skimitar, by the way. When I made this account, I really didn't have an identity because I rolled a random chunk, so I didn't really get a chance to name the account properly before um, making it, and I finally got the chance to actually get a name change, and uh, I felt like this was very fitting. So I hope you all like the name change, because I really do. Oh! There we fucking go! That's all we needed. We just need a little bit of luck. There's the iron plate legs. 309 kill count. That's what I'm talking about. 49 magic. Okay, so I finished up all the runes that I had in my inventory. We're gonna start on the smithing grind. I gotta get to level 15 using super heat. So what we're gonna do is just mine this tin and copper right here and uh, make them into bars right here. Once we fill up our inventory, we're gonna head right over to the Sunset Coast and use uh, the bronze bar on this anvil, and then we'll make our way back over here until we get to level 15. All right, so the first inventory of bronze bars gives us almost one XP LA from level three. So let's see how much uh, XP these uh, bronze bars make when I uh, use them on the anvil. And there is level five, and then after we're done with an inventory, I'm just going to sell pretty dirt cheap anyway. So I'm just going to sell everything in one store. It doesn't really matter, but we'll get a little bit of extra coins for the grind. Level 10 smithing. Level 50 magic. I wasn't expecting a magic level during this, but we take it. And I did math right. Okay, so there's level 15 smithing. I can now pick up this single iron bar spawn and we can use it on the anvil now and make an iron dagger. There we go. And thus the real journey begins so pretty much here is the plan we uh we set our quick hop to a shortcut on the keyboard and we just grab the iron bar and then we uh quick hop and then we do it again all right and now that we got a full inventory we can make the daggers and we can see the xp go up by 25 per iron bar levels will definitely come in pretty fast at first and level 17 smithing on the first inventory. Very good, very nice. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the bronze materials. We're just going to sell them right to the store and get right back into grabbing the iron bars. Level 20 smithing. And there is level 30 smithing. Too many login attempts. So yeah, about after an hour and a half of world hopping, I get hit with the too many login attempts. Hey, level 31 smithing. Getting to the end of the night, so just gonna do a little more fishing. And here is level 40. All right, since we're level 40 now, we can fish lobster. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm actually gonna be banking this lobster. Um, lobster's probably better XP an hour than what I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna do it until 46 for when I unlock the uh bass to get from the big net and then we can start hunting for the big bass all right and there is a level 46 fishing i'm gonna fill up the rest of this inventory then uh, we can start fishing bass i believe that is the level that we need yes 46 for the bass so we can go uh, back to the big net fishing after this inventory and try to get ourselves the big bass i did end up cooking 331 lobster and only burned 13 out of them so that's a that's pretty good not too bad and there is a level 50 fishing we can now harpoon swordfish but i'm just gonna keep up at the bass until i get the big bass and then we'll move on to the swordfish but not before i hit you with a two hour world hopping smithing session Magic level starting to come in pretty slow, but here is level 52 magic. All right, that was the Leo event. I got myself an XP lamp. I was training agility, but now that I have access to Piro Piro, I'm actually training Hunter a little bit. So this will be the first Hunter level on the account. There we go. Hunter level number two. Ending off the day with no big bass, but we did get level 55 fishing. So that's a plus, I guess. Another two hours of smithing in five seconds coming right at you. 
All right, a, another too many login attempts session completed. We got a little more XP this time because I was making the iron arrow tips. So I uh, wasn't hopping worlds as often, but yeah, we only ended up getting, you know, like a thousand more XP compared to the strictly iron plate bodies. So still not very viable, but having about 8,000 iron arrow tips her session is gonna come in handy for a future fletching grind, I might assume, so. And there is level 55 magic. That is a chunk task. We can now cast high level alchemy. That's right, two more hours of smithing, let's go. Another session of smithing done. We ended up getting, what, 13.5k XP. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Another 8,100 iron arrow tips to put into the stash. And now we go fishing. There is level 60 fishing. Let's see, this man's throwing a lot of snowballs at me. Oh, that's interesting. The snowballs actually don't interrupt you. I thought they interrupted you. Oh, oh, we got it. Oh my God. There we go. He brought, he, he, he brought the big bass look. There we go, big bass. We did it. Oh my God. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. The big bass is done. Thank you, Soup. I appreciate it. We're done with bass. We can actually move on to freaking swordfish now. Can you one tick fish like this? There is a mining method with snow. I'm not sure if you can do it with... Well, I think there's a woodcutting method too. You could probably do fish with it, but I'm far too lazy to do that. All right, today was the first day of the NFL season, so I was on my phone watching football, catching some swordfish and tuna. Yeah, I ended up getting the big swordfish, so <laughs> I really wish I would have uh, been on the computer when it happened, but you know, it is what it is. I ended up catching it at 259 swordfish so um yeah pretty spooned on the swordfish for going a little bit dry on the big bass so i guess rng evens out at the end of the day the big swordfish at the moment doesn't really mean anything i still have to get to 76 fishing to catch shark and to get the big shark so we're still going to be catching a lot of swordfish and a lot of tuna in the meantime another session of making some arrow tips were above 24,000 on the iron arrow tip stack now another 13,000 xp and we're actually pretty close to level 46 but not quite there yet so uh we'll definitely hit it next session we're gonna start hitting the territory where we do a whole session and don't even get a level two hours later all right another world hopping session has been completed let's fucking go all right, quiz master. Let's see what we get. We got a lamp, which is actually pretty pog. We can put that right into hunter, and that is level three hunter. We will take that. 65 fishing. And there is level 49 smithing. We have reached the goal to craft the bullseye lantern frame. So that is pretty cool. We can now process every steel item in the game. And uh, after the session, I think I just might do that. Another smithing session done. We got about a third of the way to get to level 50. I'm just going to go grab the steel bars that I got from the Moss Giants grind and go ahead and get those out of the way. But yeah, we got 52 steel bars from that grind, so we should have plenty to make everything that we need with some left over as well. All right, the first on the list says an iron warhammer. I believe this is the best in slot, like, strength-based weapon that I can have. So there is the steel warhammer, and I can wield that, and that is a chunk task complete. Next up, we have our melee best in slot body, the steel plate body unfortunately we were not able to get that from the mystery box but we now have it with our smithing level and the best in slot melee plate legs is going to be the steel plate legs so we're going to make that there we go and we equipped them we now have pretty much a full steel now which is pretty cool our best in slot range weapon is going to be the steel knife so we go ahead and make that and we can go ahead and wield them and that is a another task complete our best in slot ranged body is going to be the steel chain body so another three bars down the drain and we have the steel chain body. We have to fletch steel bolts, so I'm going to go ahead and make 10 steel bolts. I'll go get the feathers and everything from the bank after this. There's only one last thing to do, and that is to make the bullseye lantern unfinished. So let's go ahead and make that for one bar. And there we go. That is our highest processed steel item, the bullseye lantern. 
we love to see that so lots of tasks completed right there it is pretty satisfying to uh to get this smithing level with only one iron bar i'm pretty i'm pretty happy about that okay and i have these feathers that i can put on the steel bolts and that would make a steel bolt finish so that is a, another chunk of task complete now that I have a little pass of money from the uh, big net fishing that I was doing going for the bass, I can actually go back over to Port Serum and get some fire runes so that I can cast high level alchemy on an item and get that chunk task out of the way. We've been holding it off for long enough now. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it on two items instead of one. We'll do the iron plate body and the iron plate legs since we do not need them anymore. They were useful. I guess, but not really, but chunk task complete. We like to see that. And since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and see how much uh, this I, this adamant weapon costs. Trade Brian. Come here, Brian. All right. The adamant battle axe. How much does it cost? Cost 4,100. That is fine with me. Let's go ahead and buy it. We now have an adamant battle axe. We wield it. Another chunk task complete. But yeah, lots of uh, chunk task complete right there in succession. Yeah, look at that. Th this is our best in slot melee armor now. Look at that. We're actually, we're coming along together pretty nicely, I must say. Uh, everyone loves that number, don't they? Level 69 fishing. We're at 161.4k fishing XP on the day. Um, I decided to add this little tracker. Instead of XP per hour, we're looking at time to level. And this is from 66 to 76, so a whole 10 levels. And it looks like we have about 39 hours left of fishing until we hit that beloved 76 and then we can catch that shark and hunt for the big shark. But I also do have the date here at the bottom of the screen so you can kind of get an idea of how many days uh, I've been here at this point. I just I just now downloaded it so you, uh, you'll kind of get an idea of uh, how long these grinds are taking now. Who's this guy? Oh, hey Gene, thank you for the bun. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Uh, heck yeah. Gene the freaking legend. That was that was the best random event spawn I could have asked for, honestly. That's wild. Hey, level 51 smithing. We are able to make the mithril axe. So after this uh, smithing session, we'll definitely go ahead and make that. I have the mithril ore, the coal, and the runes to superheat them into a mithril bar. So we'll go ahead and do that after this smithing session. But yeah, we now have 56,000 arrow tips, 140,000 fletching XP. We like that. All right, let's make our two mithril ore. One and two. There we go. We got our mithril bars. Let's make the new best in slot axe for us. This will be very useful on further woodcutting chunks. So the mithril axe is now mine. Yes, sir, it is. And we still have uh, three mithril bars we can play around with for now. If I get the smithing level to like make a new best in slot. And if I need more mithril ore and coal, then I can go kill sand crabs and ice giants for them. So that is not a big deal. Oh. Well, I guess I take the walk of shame. I don't even know what happened. I was editing. And, uh, I perished. So, uh, I guess it is the walk of shame time. Alright, I am back in my chunk now. I can only imagine it was these jaguars over here while I was walking to and fro from fishing. I, That's, like, the only way I could have died. I mean, kind of disappointing. At the end of the day, I'm not too, like, butthurt about it, though, because, I mean... I wasn't really riding on being a hardcore forever. It is what it is. We are just a different helmet now. Same account, same goals, same everything. Just no red helmet anymore. Who would have thought though that I would have lost the hardcore status while fishing and not actually trying to kill something, you know? That's crazy. But that is going to do it for me for this episode. In the next episode, I'll finish getting the fishing level to catch shark and obtain the big boy himself, as well as finishing up the rest of the chunk task and rolling a new chunk. Here are the rest of the tasks I still need to do on screen. If you liked the video, make sure you are subscribed so you can see when I put out more content in the future. Shout out to all my channel members listed here on screen. Thank you for the extra support you give me. It means the most. My name is Foley, and I will see you all on the next one. Goodbye.